So, let's continue with this, this work. I removed all the sear clips and now I'm removing the rotico. I'll use the rotico to remove a little bit of rust before that just because so that I don't have my working table full of rust but it will uh, pushers are as expected full of dirt and some other things I would don't want to know that's why they go directly into the washing machine basket um, I will check after if the uh, the gaskets the, the, the o-rings that come on the pushers are still in good condition or not. Uh, looking at the amount of rust inside this movement, I am. I wouldn't be surprised uh, that they are completely uh, hardened and unusable anymore. Anyway, this is not uh, actually a very a bad thing in the sense that um, these kinds of watches are anyway uh, not to be considered waterproof anymore because of their age. Um, even if I would manage to uh, source uh, at a reasonable price not that there are, there are not anymore uh, the gaskets, the o-rings, the rubber o-rings for the stems of the pushers uh, it will always be um, a point of concern at least for me uh, and honestly speaking I wouldn't even think of even with new o-rings and gaskets to uh, do a dive What I'm seeing is a very uh, loads and loads of rust here. This is not the rustier movement I've seen, but <laughs> yeah, one of them. Um, and since uh, there is a lot of rust also between the glass and the bezel, I suppose I will have to remove the glass and the bezel prior to, to put it inside a cleaning machine. Uh, I would anyway put it inside a cleaning machine but not with the bezel anyway even if uh, it had so much rust inside. Anyway. So I have to what I do usually is to make a first bath inside uh, lighter fluid just to let it sit a couple of hours when that is so filthy you know just to make the the grime lose a little bit of its hold to the pieces and then work my way off the the grime with an electrical toothbrush toothbrush sorry and Dish soap, dish soap.
this is for the uh, for the case and brace bracelet, obviously, not for the uh, for the movement itself. Um, I also do that for um, parts of the movements, but not as a whole, because obviously, if you put the dial inside the the lighter liquid, uh, bad things can happen. So while uh, that part, the bracelet and the case back are soaking inside the lighter fluid. I will show you uh, the working movement. It's this one. And you can see it's working pretty well. The permanent seconds is here in the uh, lower dial. Then we have the one tenth of a second here in this dial, and then the minute counter on the other dial here. So there you go. Lap. Stop. Re reset this here. Yeah. Yeah, no pressure. A quick test of functionality. Uh, you achieve that pressing the reset button for more than three seconds. So one, two, three, four. Oh, I don't know if you saw that correctly. One, two, three, four. As you can see, all hands are moving correctly and resetting perfectly to zero. That's why I am. Um, willing to just swap the movement inside the new case once cleaned this watch comes also in a not so clean state but it's better than the other one and this one also doesn't have a gasket as you can clearly see but you can see the, the movement is pretty clean, there is the correct battery installed and as I said what was missing is this golden uh, switch here this, that regulates the timing uh, with that you can adjust the time in, in quarter of a second either plus or minus um, so this works perfectly well I will just uh, leave it inside here I have to source a gasket for uh, the other watch and I'll just leave it here so it doesn't take any dust but this one needs uh, the case needs to be cleaned as well the pushers are very hard um, and also the, uh, the gold plating is a little bit uh, worn out especially in the uh, outer part of the bezel and the glass is chipped uh, and scratched but worse than the other but both are scratched anyway so um, actually I uh, I talked with the customer and he wants to uh, have the glass replaced uh, I don't know if we're I don't think we're gonna do it right now but still it needs to be replaced Ooh, so much grime inside that case. Anyway, so this is it. This was the uh, first part of this uh, series of video of a Seiko 73A 702A quartz chronograph. 
as you can see. Um, I hope you liked it and um, I will try to upload within the day uh, the second part uh, when the watch, uh, the original customer's watch has been uh, throttly cleaned and it's ready to be reassembled so you will see um, the, the swap of the movement. Thanks again for watching. Um, thumbs up if you liked the, uh, what, the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day.